As bloggers or niche site owners, we all have one thing in common, and that is that our first blog post is the worst. And except for the chosen few, our first sites are never going to be super successful. And that's despite us often burning the midnight oil to publish another post and putting everything we have into our content. Now, apart from lack of experience, there are seven key mistakes that us as bloggers make when trying to create content that our users actually want to read, content that ranks, content that gains traffic, and content that ultimately convert. Now, there's this idea that dripping out content is good practice. It's not. Rather than dripping out one article per week when you've got 20 already written, publish them all in one go. You wouldn't build a house or even a wall by adding one brick one week and another brick the next. You'd want to build that structure as fast as possible to get it nice and solid. The same thing applies to blogging. The quicker you build out that topical authority, the better. Following on from that, you wouldn't build five houses and leave them half finished. So we want to apply the same logic to our niche sites. We want to finish our house, or in this case, our topical cluster, before we move on to the next. It's absolutely fine to go for a broader blog, but build your topical clusters one at a time to show authority before moving on to the next. The next mistake that bloggers make is neglecting user experience. And there's nothing worse for this than those, yeah, those big pop-ups <laughs> that, really get in the way and are super, super annoying. Not only do they kill your user engagement signals and impact on core web vitals, they'll scare your readers off faster than a dodgy double glazing salesman. You know the one, you buy one, you get one free. I said you buy one, you get one free. With the onset and literal explosion of AI content, it's never been more important to put personality, character, and unique information into your content. Regurgitating information from the internet is something that AI is great at. What AI can't do is come up with new data, give personal insight, or share experience. So this is something that you definitely want to focus on. Your readers will thank you, and the side bonus is that unique data is highly linkable content. So the chances are you'll get some free bonus links to your website thrown in if you take this approach. Now this leads us on to not understanding our audience. What sort of content are you producing? What sort of journey are they likely to go on with you? Are they one-time visitors who you just want to refer and get an affiliate commission out of them? Or are they likely to come back time and time again and become engaged and loyal followers? All of this makes a big difference in terms of how you write, structure and monetize your blog. Talking of monetization, the next mistake bloggers make is worrying about revenues too soon. Focus on user experience, your writing style, engagement and building out those topical clusters. Definitely don't bother with display ads until you've got traffic that makes it worthwhile doing so. Although you probably do want to add some CTAs for affiliate links as you go, but don't worry about making them perfect because you can split test these for conversion rate optimization once you've got good traffic coming into your website. Now, I apologize, we're gonna stick with the building analogy here, but whenever I've been to Greece or Cyprus, I see these buildings that are half finished. They just abandoned the project halfway through, so they're never going to bring in any income. Now, we see the exact same thing with affiliate sites and blogs. People simply just don't see a project through. Now, although you can never really completely finish a blog, we see a lot of people simply stopping too soon. Now, small setbacks, having unrealistic expectations are quite often the culprit here. In most cases, you're going to need at least 18 months to determine if a blog can be successful. Now, once you've done that and you've made sure that you're not making any of these blogging mistakes, then you might want to double down on your earnings. Now, if you do, take a look at this video because I show you exactly how I doubled my earnings without increasing traffic and I'll show you how you can do the same. Guys, thanks for watching. All the best with your own projects.